Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, SDS Creates here. So in today's video, I'm doing a haul um, of my art supplies that I've gotten. So first would be Walmart, this stuff out of the bag, and then Curry's art supplies in the plastic bag. Oh, and just a quick disclaimer, I bought um, the stuff from Walmart back in March, so when there wasn't a lockdown, the like third lockdown for Ontario, there was no lockdown in March, so that's when I went to go buy it. Because I know right now all like the non-essential uh, sections of Walmart are like closed off, so like the arts aisle, I'm guessing the technology aisle, stuff like that is blocked off, and yeah. So starting off with the Walmart stuff. So first things ah, first things that I got is this wooden mannequin. Um, I thought I would use it to practice character drawing because I don't really draw a lot of characters. I don't draw any characters actually, but I was hoping that with this I could use it to help start drawing characters. So it's just like a basic wooden one. Um, it doesn't bend in all ways, like its arms can't go like this or anything, like on its hips. I mean it can, but not in like, it can't go by its waist or anything like that. But it's, 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 nice, it's a nice basic um, starting model to use, so yeah. And I think it's like works with springs, yeah, it has springs in it. And it's just a wooden mannequin. So the next thing that I bought is this varnish. It's a Krylon brand and it says it's non-yellowing non protection for oil, acrylic, and watercolor paintings. So I was hoping I can use this on my two um, acrylic pocket pen paintings and some other watercolor paintings that I have. So yeah, just got this to protect my paintings and such. The next thing that I got is this set of three brushes. So I wanted to do a cloud painting and I don't have any like fluffy brushes like this. So I was hoping that with this, I could start cloud painting. Like I wanna do a simple um, cloud painting first, like a small one, and then move on to a larger canvas. Sorry, I'm just taking a little effort to get out but yeah there's also this flat brush that it comes with so there's this one this is a half inch one half inch like flat one so this is nice and then there's this half inch fluffy one this one's like perfect for blending i feel like especially with oil painting i was thinking of starting with acrylic but yeah, this half inch fluffy one. And then this three fourths or three quarters inch big fluffy one. So this one would be, I would use for like a big, oh, I kind of ruined it there, but for a bigger painting. So yeah, this is nice and fluffy. It's good for blending. But yeah, the brand of this is Simply Simmons or Simons. I'm excited to start using these brushes, but yeah. The next thing that I got, because my micron pens are drying out, so I decided to get these um, other liner pens. So I'm gonna open them and test them out here. So. So it comes with four pens. It comes with a 005, a 0.1, a 0.5, and a 0.8. So I'm gonna test this out. So this is the 005. really nice it's really good quality I love these pens so far so yeah 
So I got those pens because my microns are drying out. And then I got these paint brushes. Um, I can't really read the brand. This is Bria Reese. Bria Reese brushes, I think. So let me open them. So this is the smallest one. Yeah, so this is the smallest one. I don't know if it's in focus or not, but let me just check. Oh yeah, you can see. So yeah, this is the smallest one. Very nice refined water detail, watercolor detail. This is the medium one. Pretty nice. I was expecting it to have a finer point, but I guess if you put water on it, it will. Because if I'm going with this, it turns a little bit thicker. But yeah. And I think you just, yeah, you just unscrew it like this. And you put the water in. So yeah, there's a medium one. And then this is the biggest one. Plastic pens that have the tip, the nibs are pretty thick. They're the medium point ones. So I just got these acrylic paint markers to see, um, to test them out. Yeah, they're water-based color. So yeah, it says it's two to three millimeters nib. So yeah, I'm gonna test these out on the paper. I already tested them out on when I first got them. Um, This page right here. So those were the acrylic markers and then the last thing that I got from Walmart is this art masking fluid so I'm gonna try this out and see here I'm gonna use first I'm gonna put down a square of black Let that dry. I'm gonna open this. I don't know if you have to mix it. Okay. You don't have to mix it, but you have to open it like a medicine bottle. Oh well, there's some at the top. That's gross. So I'm gonna get an oil brush. Um Maybe one of these. So I'm gonna let that dry. And it says to protect areas in painting from watercolor washes, apply fluid with a brush and let dry paint over and quickly remove by gently rubbing clean brush with soapy water shake before use oh so I was supposed to shake it my bad
it smells really bad. It smells toxic. So, okay, now it's just like foamy. I just like ruined this brush. I'll wash it off, but. Hmm. I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, so I managed to wash off my brush. It was just like stuck on the top, so. Yeah, this seems kind of rubbery. I'm not sure if it's fully dry. It looks like it. So I'm gonna take pink and try to go over this. So I'm just gonna, I guess, remove the masking fluid. Oh wow! So that worked pretty well. There is no pink in the middle of the square, so that's good, I guess. This one seems to need to dry more. This looks fun to use and play with, but yeah. So that's cool. So now I'm gonna move on to what I got from Curry's. I got this like a long time ago and I never used it yet. It's just been in the bag sitting here. So I'm just gonna show you what I got a while ago, but yeah. So the first thing that I got is this Winsor & Newton brush cleaner and restorer. It says for dried acrylic and oil color. It's not hazardous, biodegradable, and low vapor. So, so I got this. I got this paint palette. It was like 99 cents. So it was the same price you'd get at the dollar store or something. But yeah, it's just a little palette, mixing palette. Then the next thing I got are these Reeves water mixable oils. And I haven't touched it since I bought it. Uh, it was like a long time ago that I bought all this stuff from Curry's. But um, yeah, I haven't used it, I haven't opened it, I haven't touched it. Um, I've never really used water mixable oils. I've used oils probably like a few times, like three to four times so far, but I'm excited to see how I can use this. Yeah, I'm gonna test this out soon, hopefully. So I got those. The last thing I got is Canva Paper by Canson. So this is Canva Paper ready for oil or acrylic without priming or preparation and is bleed proof. So this is what the paper looks like. It has a kind of linen texture to it. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it has a linen texture to it. So this is really nice paper that I have not used yet. I'm thinking about testing some stuff out on this. So I'm excited for that. And yeah, so that's what I got from Curry's. So this is all what I got from Walmart and Curry's. Thank you for watching this art supply haul. Um, I didn't do an art piece for month, for March, not March, for March. So. I was thinking of doing two art pieces for April to make up for it, but we'll see. But anyways, this is the video for April, so yeah. Um, just want to say thanks for watching again. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!